Football season is over, amen. Hallelujah. I don't have to waste time anymore. Hallelujah. We can't stop nothing, even if our lives depended on it. Hallelujah. Cam Newton danced all over us today. Hallelujah. Today I was the last day I had to put up with this crap. Hallelujah. No more Buccaneer football this season. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank the good Lord Jesus. I do not have to watch any more of that. Who's trolling me now? A whole bunch of crap. Thank God. Football season is over. Because I could not be more embarrassed than I am right now. I could not be more thankful that there's not another game this team is playing in this year. And thank you for New Orleans. Thank you for making us the, the the giving us the basement back. Thank you. You you can stay in the in, in, in the little corner room, the closet, while the Falcons enjoy the ma uh, or the Panthers enjoy the master bedroom, and the Falcons have the the bedroom next to it. Thank you for putting us back in the basement. To Lovey Smith and Jason Light. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the seventh straight losing season. Thank you. And thank you, Carolina Panthers, for putting me out of my own misery today. And thank you, NFL, for only having 17 weeks. Now I can just focus all on hockey. I can't believe this. I am embarrassed. To see Cam Newton and the Panthers dance like they did today? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So, I could not be more thankful that football season is over. Congratulations, and Panther fans had every right to take a week off, because they didn't miss anything. Shout out to Panthers 07, Cali Blue, uh, T-Money, um, A Camelsos, um, I'm leaving out another one, uh, The Voice, um, I I'm too angry to really think of, shout out to the Panthers, except for the Panther Typers. Like Panther fan 40, whatever the hell he is. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm so embarrassed of this football team right now that I really could take down everything on my walls and all out of my closet and not care. That's how mad I am right now. To go out there last game of the year against a division rival and to play like that. You deserve to be in the basement of the division. 
deserve it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that I thought that this team <laughs> was a playoff team. Playoffs? <laughs> oh, I'm a joke. I'm a freaking joke. I get up every Sunday morning and I think this team could do something. <laughs> And for the past seven years, I've been nothing but a joke. Seven years. 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Seven years. I have put up with this crap. And it only gets worse. Seriously, don't know how much more of this I can take. Every year we're supposed to be some new and improved football team. Every year we're supposed to have potential. And every year we finish dead last in the division. Hope. Have hope. Have faith. Believe. In what? I can't yell anymore. I'll piss off my mom. I'm... I'm trying not to sound like a Fairweather fan here. Of course, many of you accuse me of being one. Because I own two simple other jerseys as a jersey collector. You guys can go, you know, shove it where the sun don't shine. I, I mean... I, I... I can't believe it. I really can't believe how we dropped the last four games in a row. After such an amazing... Effort and, and and momentum you think would come off of the Atlanta game. And I can't believe I thought this team was a playoff team after that. I forgot how crappy the Falcons were. You know, they're the ones that put the Panthers in their place. Kudos to them, but... I really... I don't... <laughs> I don't know how, how, I, I, I'm speechless as to how we went from being a 500, 6-6 six six team, second in the division, to this. I really hate it when my team gets made fun of and when I get made fun of for rooting for this team, but I, I, I think I deserve, I think I deserve it way more now. Because I thought this team was a... <laughs> Can you believe that, guys? I thought this team was a playoff team at 6-6. Six and six. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God football season is over. Now I can sit back and watch real teams play. <laughs> oh my god. Did you guys see how ridiculous that game was? Seriously. Seriously. Did you see how much... Da Cam Newton should win a freaking Dancing with the Stars freaking award. Because he was dancing all over us today. Why? Why can't we get something right? Oh, the, <clears throat> the Bucks have a big future, you know. They're just a couple pieces away from uh, uh, real playoff contention. How long have I been saying that? Oh. 
Oh, it's really, 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 really hard. It's getting to the point. There, there, there's boiling point, and, and then there's where I am. I, I, I'm getting there. I really, I really want to say firing Lovey Smith and Jason Light is the answer. But we have proved that uh, having th uh, going having a coach for two years and then firing them does not do anything. I I can't. Just just I'm trying to say this without sounding like. Of course I get again I get accused of being a fucking bandwagon fan anyways. But I cannot say this enough. Thank God, football season is over. I'm done. I, I, I'm going to try my hardest not to talk trash during the off season because that that bit me so hard in the rear end this time around. My first year in the TTC is over. Thank you for the people who made it interesting. Thank you for the Falcons. Uh, made nice hate weeks with them. Uh, the Giants. I uh, know. I think my best hate week has to be. The first and second time we played Atlanta. I deserve so... Fans like me who've been going to games for 10 years and, and, and get up every morning regardless of our record and think we have a chance at winning, fans like me don't deserve this. Fans like my dad who's been a, 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 a consistent, consistent season ticket holder for, for 18 years... He doesn't deserve this. Fan, fans like uh, Big Nasty. That doesn't deserve this. Fans like uh, uh, a couple of members in my in the Buccaneer Invasion group. Uh, the super fan. John, John Super fan. The West Coast Bucks fans out there in the world. We're repping us hard in the West Coast. They don't deserve this. We don't deserve this. And yet... Year in and year out for the past seven years, we've been treated like mutts by this football team. Does not back us up. I I can go on and on, and I pro I probably be going on going on too long, but I. We it, fans like fans like the people I just listed. We give so much time and so much money into this team that it really, really makes you think. What the heck is the point on doing it now? Seven years, seven years. Oh my God, I can't get over that. Seven years. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'll be over it by Wednesday. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank God I have hockey for the rest of the time. And even that's being too stressful right now. It's a Bucks life.